Capital Kirig on a gorgeous Saturday in June would usually be thronged with visitors, many of which held bent on irritating a particular waiter in Café Shabod. Not that it takes much to do that. Today, though, it is all but deserted. A few locals are out for a stroll, dodging tumbleweeds as they go. I'm going for a stroll too. I'm going to force my unfit body, porky from months of lockdown up Crimpii. A mini mountain with a massive view. On my way, I call into Plaskirig to say hello. It's like the Mary Celeste. Next, I pass through Brinterch Farm, where I found my first home in Wales. A caravan which in summer was an oven and in winter an ice cave, replete with frozen pipes and no running water. shadow of Cloglin Maur, I leave behind lush pastures and enter a shaggy landscape of bracken and heather. A yellow brick road leads me to a footbridge and I arrive in another world, a liminal space, that of Nantagayasht. This time of year, the air is thick with a pungent, peaty fragrance which is redolent of my arrival in Snowdonia, when, carless, I spent months exploring this valley and the hills which enclose it. One of the most bittersweet chapters in my life. I wonder if I'll be lucky enough to meet any Carnethi ponies. There's certainly evidence that they're not too far away. At last, I reach the top of the pass, which drops down to Kravnant, and begin my ascent of Krimpiai. This is a walk I used to do before breakfast, but my legs, atrophied through prolonged inactivity, are not happy at all. The views are wonderful as I climb higher, and they keep me going until there's no more up. I'm back in the mountains. I'm home again. <laughs> 